many from the OTP community have been asking me, Dave, why don't you make a video about BPC 157? Now, BPC 157, how can I explain it? Imagine a single compound that can heal your gut, soothe your joints, tame inflammation, and even potentially support your metabolism. It sounds almost too good to be true, right? But meet BPC-157. It's a little known therapeutic peptide that's made huge waves in the health and wellness world. And in today's video, we're going to dive into what BPC-157 is, how it works, and why so many people who are interested in gut health, obesity, and metabolic wellness are super excited about BPC-157. By the end, you'll have a good understanding of the science behind BPC-157 and why an oral BPC-157 supplement in particular, like the one from our friends at Integrative Peptides, can be a practical game changer for your health. Let's get started. So I want to get into the history of BPC-157. You know, we talk a lot about on this channel, incretin mimetic hormone, GLP-1s, GIP, things like that. But there are a lot of other peptides that are helping people find optimal health. And the history of BPC-157, while not quite as interesting as the history of GLP-1, is pretty fascinating. So it might sound like a droid from a Star Wars movie, but it actually stands for body protection compound. It was literally discovered by scientists in the early 1990s who were studying human gastric juices, the fluids in our stomach, and they were looking for substances within those fluids that helped heal and protect our gut. So they isolated a particular pentadecapeptide, a, a 15 chain amino acid that showed remarkable healing properties in some early experiments. The peptide was named BPC-157, because it was one of many body protection compounds that they identified. And ever since its discovery, researchers uh, have been fascinated by how broadly it seemed to aid in recovery in the body. So initially, BPC-157 was studied for its ability to heal stomach ulcers in animal models. And over time, scientists realized that the peptides effects were not actually limited to the stomach. BPC-157 has actually earned a reputation as this sort of multi-purpose healing agent in integrative medicine. And that's actually not FDA approved for any condition currently, but it's used widely in peptide therapy. And in short, BPC-157 went from a stomach secretion curiosity to a really promising therapeutic tool that have started to call the Wolverine peptide because it has this regenerative property to it. Those 15 amino acids pack a big punch and that's the short chain of amino acids. It's actually one reason that it's extremely stable. Unlike most peptides that get quickly broken down in stomach acid, we know that semaglutide, for example, requires a, a investment of something called snack technology that Novo Nordisk paid uh, $2 billion for to just get 5% bioavailability out of the peptide when taken orally. BPC-157, however, is resistant to stomach acid and digestive enzymes because that's where it's found. BPC-157 has been shown to be able to sit in stomach acid for over 24 hours without being destroyed. So the stability means BPC-157 can be taken orally and still survive and do its job. Physiologically, BPC-157 is classified as a cytoprotective peptide, which means it actually protects cells and the tissues against damage. So it has protective healing effects in many different areas. Researchers have found BPC-157 accelerates wound healing and tissue repair. It helps regrow and mend tissues ranging from the gut lining to skin, muscle, and even nerve tissue. It reduces inflammation. It modulates immune response, lowering excess inflammatory signals and boosting infl anti-inflammatory ones. It promotes blood vessel growth. BPC-157 actually stimulates the formation of new blood vessels, which is crucial in healing damaged tissue and improving circulation to injured isochemic areas. It increases collagen production. It can even upregulate factors that produce collagen, the protein that provides structure to the skin, the tendons, the bones, the gut lining, and more collagen means basically 
stronger, more resilient tissues. So let's talk specifically about the areas that you all care about the most. Let's talk about gut health and metabolic health. If you suffer from things like ulcer, leaky gut, irritable bowel, or just general GI inflammation, this is where BPC-157 really shines. So one thing that BPC-157 can help is, is to help you develop a stronger gut lining. BPC-157 helps reinforce the intestinal lining, which is actually very crucial in preventing leaky gut. What is leaky gut even? It's Well, it's when, when the intestinal wall becomes too permeable and it allows toxins or partially digested food molecules to leak into your bloodstream. This triggers an inflammatory response. BPC-157 has been shown in studies to tighten up those junctions between the cells, essentially helping to seal leaky gut. This means a more robust barrier that keeps the bad stuff out of your bloodstream while letting the nutrients absorb properly. It is helpful in ulcer healing. So if the peptide first proved its healing in stomach ulcers, in experimental models, BPC-157 helps speed up the healing of ulcers dramatically in the stomach. In some cases, ulcers that would take weeks to heal were actually repaired in just days with BPC-157 treatment. It does this by promoting blood flow to the stomach lining and boosting that collagen and cell renewal that we mentioned earlier. People with gastritis, ulcerative colitis, in the, or, or ulcerative lesions in the GI tract may benefit from this accelerated healing effect that BPC-157 offers. And then just better digestion and nutrient absorption by healing the GI tract and healing the lining of your gut, BPC-157 can indirectly lead to better digestion and nutrient absorption. So a healthier gut lining means you're more effectively absorbing vitamins, minerals, and the fuel that you get and extract from the food that you eat. And you might even notice things like improved energy because that would be a result of better nutrient uh, absorption, or, or maybe you'll even result uh, in some, some better skin appearance. The gut microbiome is huge when we, when we talk about gut bacteria and just uh, being able to reduce inflammation in the gut. BPC-157 is going to create an environment or help to create an environment where beneficial bacteria can thrive and the harmful microbes have a harder time thriving because the healthy gut microbiome contributes to a strong gut and overall better mental well-being. And we know that this gut brain access is a real thing. That's where our incretin hormones are made is in our gut, GLP-1, GIP. Uh, it's produced in the brain also, but primarily in response to nutrient intake, it's produced in the gut. So in a nutshell, BPC-157 is like miracle grow for your gut. It helps to patch up damage, calm down the inflammation, and fortify gastrointestinal systems defenses. So if you're dealing with things like chronic heartburn, IBS, or the aftermath of just a, how a poor diet, drinking alcohol for years has harmed your gut, BPC-157 offers uh, some scientifically backed ways to start hopefully repairing some of that damage from the inside out. For this channel, I want to hone in on a couple of things that BPC-157 can help with by improving the gut because we talk so much about GLP-1 medications and, and signalings of satiety that are happening between the gut and the brain. Can BPC-157 help you lose weight or improve your metabolism? Well, BPC-157 is not a stimulant or a weight loss supplement, but it can indirectly support metabolic health through a few mechanisms. So improved gut hormone signaling is going to be huge in, in a healthy gut and a healthy gut lining and reduced inflammation is all very important to that. So the gut plays a huge role in signaling fullness and regulating blood sugar via hormones called incretins that we talk about all the time. GLP-1, GIP, there are others. These hormones are telling your brain that you're full and they help moderate the, the insulin release in your body in response to nutrient intake. By healing the gut lining, reducing inflammation, BPC-157 could create an environment where your natural incretin hormones work better. There's actually speculation among some research, some researchers, excuse me, that BPC-157 might even directly interact with these pathways. For example, a healthier gut could secrete more appropriate levels of GLP-1 
helping you feel satisfied after eating and keeping blood sugar stable. We've heard uh, different reports on studies that they've done about the balance of gut bacteria in people who are metabolically unwell versus the metabolically healthy. And we know that there is DPP-4 run amok in the guts of people who live with type 2 diabetes. And DPP-4 is the natural enemy to GLP-1 and GIP. It's going to just, it lives to destroy it basically. And it's DPP-4 is a, a byproduct of a bacteria that lives in your gut, but you have way too much of that bacteria when you are metabolically unwell. So improving your gut can indirectly help with these pathways by creating an environment where you have just a, a better regulated gut microbiome with the proper levels of, of the good bacteria to the bad bacteria. So think of it this way, GLP-1 medications force the issues by amplifying certain signals where BPC-157 helps set the stage for your body to balance those signals naturally. Liver health is another absolutely massive one. When we talk about metabolism and, and losing weight, liver is central to that whole process. And conditions like fatty liver disease, which people with obesity and type 2 diabetes generally have, BBC 157 is shown to have protective effects on the liver in research. And this is absolutely huge because we need to reduce liver inflammation to prevent liver damage over the long term. And, and BPC-157 has been shown that it can help uh, to prevent liver damage in certain toxin-induced injury models. A healthier liver processes fats and sugar and carbs more efficiently, and that will contribute to a better overall metabolic health. One of the main things that I wanted to address is the oral versus injectable, because many people will say you have to take an injectable for it to, to work. And here's where BPC-157 truly breaks the mold because we've, we've talked about this earlier. It's one of the rare peptides that's actually orally active. So remember how we said BPC-157 is super stable because it's resistant to stomach acid. You can take it by mouth. You can take these oral capsules, tablets, uh, what have you. There's even uh, sprays that are available that you can just uh, spray in your mouth. It's a big deal because it means that we can potentially get a lot of these healing benefits without needles, uh, who wants to take another weekly shot? So for many people, this makes BPC-157 a no-brainer because oral BPC-157 is logical for a lot of the things that we talk about, like these gut-related issues and healing and repairing the gut. So swallowing a compound puts it right where it needs to be, right? So even for systemic issues, oral can work because BPC-157 does get into the circulation from the gut. So you might be wondering, is oral BPC-157 effective? The answer from both researchers and people who use this is yes. Studies have shown that oral BPC-157 is bioavailable, meaning it reaches the bloodstream and tissues in an active form. In fact, some experiments found oral BP-7 just as effective as injectable BPC-157 for healing, again, likely due to the uh, exceptional stability of the short chain of amino acids. So unlike other peptides that you have to inject, BPC-157 gives us this convenient alternative in an oral. So I just wanted to address that because I know that it's going to come up and I know there are a lot of people who have been using these peptides for a lot longer than I have, uh, but this is what I have found. So if you want to uh, check out BPC-157, our partners over at Integrated Peptides, there will be a link in the description. You can use code OTP10 to save 10%. Uh, if reducing inflammation is important to you, they've got a host of BPC-157 products, including a drink mix that includes other things like pro probiotics and some other peptides that can even fast track this gut healing uh, potentially for you. So definitely check them out. OTP 10 is going to save you 10%. Sign up at the link in the description of this video. I hope that this video was everything people were hoping for that were asking for a video on BPC 157. And there are some other orally bioavailable peptides that we will eagerly discuss uh, in the future if you all are interested but I wanted to bring you this video this week. If you could make sure you hit that like, hit that bell, hit that sub, stay along with us. We talk about all things GLP-1s, incretin mimetics, and obesity medicine here. And of course, healing our gut is a huge part of that as science is definitely learning that many of the signaling mechanisms that happen in relation to how we ingest food, how we consume it, and how our body responds to it all start with a healthy gut. So BPC-157 might be 
the key for you if you've been looking to heal and repair your gut. I hope you'll check it out. Integrated peptides. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being the best part of what we do here at On The Pen. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you on the next one.